welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alora. I make motherhood and lifestyle content. I am so happy you're here. You guys, it is my favorite time of the year. We are here. We are entering into the fall season and I am going all out this year because I did not get to enjoy fall last year. Last year, I was very much in the thick of first trimester nausea. I was so sick pretty much the entire fall season. I had smell aversions, I had food aversions, especially to coffee. I did not get to enjoy the seasonal pumpkin cream cold brew last year, which is something I look forward to every single fall. Any sort of fall scent or fall baked good was a no-go for me. The only thing I pretty much ate during that time was I think like salting crackers. It was sad it was sad but it was all for a great reason like i said this year i'm going all out i'm going all out with the fall decorations are you growling you guys toddlers are the strangest creatures on this earth <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I am decorating my house with fall. Like I'm going all out. Last year, I didn't even bring up my fall decorations. I didn't have the energy nor the motivation to actually decorate my home, so I didn't. I have a to-do list of the things I want to accomplish this week. So starting off, we're going to bring up the fall decor from the basement. I can tell you right now that the amount of fall decorations I have fit in a small container. Like you think of like those tote size things that you typically put decorations in. No, these are like, this is like a very small storage container, very small, and it's not even, and there's still room in there. So the amount of fall decorations I have is very, very minimal, and I'd like to purchase more. The majority of my decorations are from the Dollar Tree, so I've been doing fall decorations on a budget for a few years now, but I would like to venture out to Hobby Lobby and get like really good pieces that I know I'll use every year. I am setting aside some money. Y'all know I budget. Some money has been set aside just for fall decorations and I'm going to allow myself to go beyond Dollar Tree and spend a little bit more than $1.25 on a fall decoration piece. So I need to bring those decorations up and I'll show you guys exactly what I have because like I said, it's not a lot. And then after that, I would like to scroll Pinterest for some inspiration as to what I want to do for my house. I kind of have a general idea, but I still want to go on to Pinterest and see if they offer some ideas that I did not think of. I would like to make a list of exactly what I want to get from Hobby Lobby. Like I said, I do have a general idea, so I kind of have a list going on in my head, but I would definitely like to have a written list that I can stick to so that I'm not just like mindlessly throwing things into the car. I want to go in with a plan because again, I'm sticking to a budget. And then this evening, I'm going to Hobby Lobby. When Kyle gets home from work, he's going to stay home with the kids. And I will just be enjoying my time alone, browsing Hobby Lobby. It's very hard to browse stores anymore to just like take your time in stores when you have two young kids because they don't want to do that. I get it. I was a kid once and I didn't want to go sit in the cart while my mom shopped like that was so boring and so I get it but as an adult like that is what brings me joy so it would be nice to really browse the store alone kid free being able to just take my time and also shout out to good husbands who are totally okay with their wives just taking time to themselves and like they'll handle the kids they are a rare breed so shout out to my husband and then after I've purchased all the decor I'm going to be decorating my house and I'm so excited to do this because like I said I did not do it last year and I'm just so excited for my home to feel very fall very cozy very homey and welcoming I'd also like to bring up my fall clothing I have so many sweaters and a lot of them were actually secondhand for my little sister. There was a time in my life when I had better fashion sense than my little sister. Now my little sister has better fashion sense than me. Like I never thought we'd be here, but here we are. I love my little sister's taste in fashion and anytime she gets ready clothes, I'm like, here I am, come to me. And so I have a lot of sweaters for my little sister that I am so excited to wear. The last thing on my list is to bake some pumpkin muffins. I am so excited to get into all the fall baking, especially now with a toddler who could help me bake things and also enjoy eating it with me. I plan on making some mini chocolate chip pumpkin muffins. I am itching to get started, so I'm going to head down to the basement and bring up all my fall decor. Also, this is just my very organized mess. As you can see, I've already dug into my fall sweaters because, you know, I really wanted to wear one, obviously.
So this is all the fall decorations that I own. I also have this um, Dollar Tree. This was like, I think from two years ago. Uh, like I said, majority of this stuff is Dollar Tree. I'm gonna sit you guys down and I'll kind of go through what I got. I do have this dish towel. Um, I'm already, I already know I do wanna get probably more dish towels from Hobby Lobby. And then I DIY'd this. It is a beaded leaf garland. Everything on this garland is from Dollar Tree. The twine, the beads, the uh, leaves. The clip pumpkins. Um, I plan on putting this on the greenery. You can kind of see it in the camera, but the greenery in the back, I'm gonna clip it on there. So it's like a pumpkin patch. Like, wouldn't that be so cute? So I got like six of these clip pumpkins. And then I have these coasters that I like to put on the front porch. We have a little side table with chairs and I like to put these coasters on. I purchased these years ago. I was on vacation with my family and I was dating Kyle. It was actually just before we got engaged. And I knew I was gonna marry him. Like, I just knew. There was no doubt in my mind. And so I was like, I'm gonna purchase these for my future home. And here we are. I'm going to be displaying these in said home. And then I have this, honestly guys, it, I'm, I'm not, it's not my vibe. Thankful, grateful, blessed. I, that's like live, laugh, love. Like it's just, it's something you find in your grandma's house. Not my vibe anymore. And then lastly, I have these like ceramic pumpkins, I think is the material. I don't know, but these pumpkins right here. And, oh, and this one. I have this one as well. T for Townsend, obviously. So we will find a spot for all of these. And that's it. That is what I currently own. And I, like I said, I plan on going to get more. I need to start making a game plan of everything I want to buy from Hobby Lobby. Exactly how I want to decorate the house. Now that I have kind of an idea of what I have, I mean, like where I want to put everything, it just gives me a better idea of what all I need to purchase. Pay attention to sound. The one that's coming from your mouth. Don't mean to turn it upside down. So I've made a list of exactly what I want to look at. Now, will I buy everything on the list? I don't know because I don't know what the prices are going for for these things. Um, but I will kind of do a little Hobby Lobby haul after I've purchased everything. So I would like to spend like $50 or less. And, and maybe you think that's a lot of money, but $50 for decorations that will last us for the long time is I think pretty good. I can, like we've spent more on just a Christmas tree alone for Christmas. So I think it's pretty reasonable. And some people may maybe like $50 is not enough and maybe you're right, but I'll just have to be very limited on what I can get and really hope that Hobby Lobby is going to pull through with the, I think it's like 40% off. I have already browsed Dollar Tree's fall decorations and you guys, they don't have a lot. If you're really heavy on Halloween during the fall time, there's a lot of Halloween decorations, but I don't celebrate Halloween and I nor do I decorate for it. I would like to purchase a leaf garland and I know I literally have a homemade beaded leaf garland, but I want like a like a leaf garland. Like it's all leaves, it's very full of leaves. I'm not gonna share exactly how I'm going to style these quite yet because you'll see that in just a bit. Um, but I would love to get a leaf garland. I also want to get some pumpkin pillows. I've been seeing that a lot on Pinterest. Maybe a fall blanket, but I'm really iffy on that. I'd like to, like I said earlier, get some more fall hand towels, a fall themed doormat. I, we have a doormat in the house. It's mostly for the dog. And when we come in, we can like wipe our shoes on it. So I'd like to get a fall themed one. And then I'd also like to get some either white string lights or some sort of twinkle light. Pre-children Alora would would go with candles over string lights. But because I have a toddler, candles are not practical. I don't, I just don't burn candles in my house anymore because it's no longer safe to burn candles in my house because my toddler can pretty much access everything but the very top of our cabinets. Like he will find a chair and he will find a way. So even if I put things up, it still is no longer safe and I'm not gonna burn a, I'm not gonna burn a candle on top of my cabinets. That's, that's weird. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Let's show them. That's so good, Caspian. Ellery is finally up from her nap. I've checked on her multiple times to make sure she was breathing because she was napping for so long and I hear her finally get up. So I'm gonna go grab Ellery and then once I put the kids down for a nap and quiet time, that's probably when I'll bring up all my fall sweaters and fall clothing. I can't know how it is <laughs> to be where you so calmly sit. When I'm further my own, there it is. Hi. Catching only part of it. 
to just be To really see Something other than just me I got two big garbage bags, a tote, and this bag has like leggings and socks. So I need to go through all that and I plan on displaying like my sweaters, cardigans, jackets, those kind of fall pieces here. Okay, let's get started. I hit the brakes, throw stones into a quiet lake. What is it you're really saying? I turn the thoughts to little waves. Space on either side of every single word I write. all the time it takes to just be to really see something other it is done all of the fall sweaters cardigans like jacket slash jacket whatever you call are hung up and I'll probably just keep these here until I get more room in my closet when I can actually switch out my short sleeve for long sleeve but we'll see. I'm going to have a basket of leggings and socks underneath. And then I also have this pile of like pullovers, I think they're called. I'm having a brain fart. The sweatshirts without the hoods. Are they called a pullover? Whatever these are called. Oh my goodness, I'm having such a massive brain fart. I'm so sorry. But I have a pile of those. I will put those probably in the drawer and call that good. Got time on our side when I stayed on home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. I am now off to Hobby Lobby and I probably won't talk to you guys again until tomorrow, and that's kind of when I'll do my little haul. I have my very colored list right here of all the things that I need to find and see if they have. I'm gonna head to Hobby Lobby and I'll pick you guys up tomorrow. I saw you walking the light and the truth may come as a surprise that we While the muffins are baking, I'm going to quickly do a Hobby Lobby haul. I got most of the things on my list, not everything, but it's like I got the things that I really wanted on my list. And I was well within my budget. I spent about $43, but take away 10 because I do have to return one of these items and I'll show you what it is. I, I figured I was gonna return it, but I thought I'd get it just to test it out. Anyways, I'll show you guys what that is in a bit. Starting off with probably my favorite, and I've been really wanting them. I've been seeing them on Pinterest. My Hobby Lobby didn't have a ton of color options, and so I decided to go with this like creamy white, but I got this pumpkin pillow. You guys, I'm so excited. Everything was 40% off, so I didn't pay like full price for everything, which is always great. Moving on, this is the item I'm going to be returning. I actually literally have the receipt in with it. So one of the things on my list was, I'm gonna put this right here, okay. One of the things on my list was a fall throw that I wanted to put on the like ottoman part of the couch. You guys, I'm so sorry if he's, um, and my Hobby Lobby was completely sold out of all of their fall style blankets. And so I was kind of browsing and I saw this table throw. It, it's like, 
the material of a blanket. It looks like a blanket, but it's like significantly smaller than a blanket because this is meant for a table. And I was like, okay, I'll get it. If it looks bad, like I'll just return it. And so I tested it out last night and you guys, it was so tiny on our couch. I was like, yeah, returning it. Um, and also this thing was $10. So I'll be getting $10 back that I could honestly spend elsewhere for a fall style blanket. Um, I do have this yellow blanket. I feel like it's a little too bright yellow for fall. I was thinking more of a springy style. But I'm gonna try it with the fall decorations and see how it looks. It, like I said, it's very springy in color. It's not the fall yellow that you would think of, but it might look good with the rest of the decorations, but we'll see. I have these faux looking pumpkins. Uh, very versatile, can do whatever I want with them. So I got these, I have a plan, I have a plan. <laughs> and then I got these mini white lights. And then I found this doormat. And then lastly, the whole reason and like the whole inspiration of wanting to get some more fall decor is this leaf garland. And I have a plan for this. This is 20 feet long and it was at a great price for a 20 foot long garland. To put it into perspective, so this was $10.99 you know, take away the 40%, whatever that is. I'm not doing the math right now, guys. But this was the same price as other leaf garlands that were only six feet long. And so I feel like this was a score because there's a lot of garland here. And this is like literally the style I was going for. It was perfect. I was wanting to get some hand towels for the kitchen and like the dishwasher, but the hand towels that they had, I just, like I wasn't in love with them. They were just okay. It wasn't what I was envisioning in my head for a fall hand towel. And I wasn't gonna buy something I didn't love. Prove me wrong, pumpkin and chocolate is far better than peanut butter and jelly. I made a half batch and that was my first mistake. I should have made a full batch. I'll link the recipe for you guys. They're amazing, they're so good. My home feels so cozy. When Caspian got done with his quiet time, he came out and he saw all the new decorations and all the twinkle lights on and he had the biggest smile on his face. And like that brought me far more joy than putting these decorations up. Like just seeing the smile on my kid's face, that was like the cherry on top. I'm excited for all the cozy fall nights to come. I'm excited for the leaves to change. We are getting into cozy season. It is just around the corner. And with that, I'm going to end today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye friends.